This has been here since 1948. I started watching Kaz Walker in the morning, and I thought you have to do something to get customers in here, get people to come in. And the main thing was play music. That's what Mr. Walker, he drawed all of his people from playing music, you know. And so when he did, I thought, well, I'm gonna have to learn to play music. So I got me, my dad was watching the and got me a banjo. And I sat down and tried to learn to play, and I got me a tune or two. And it was really interesting because when I started trying to play, just about, a big percentage, I'd say, of people that stopped here was musicians. I started trading on instruments, and I'd hang them up, and I'd say, try a guitar out, and I'd find out I could pick, and I'd grab the banjo down and pick one with them. And that's where I learned to play. It just off for everybody. I'm talking about big stars would stop here, all kinds of people. Chet Atkins has been here. Uh, Kitty Wells, Bobby Wright, Johnny Wright. Bobby Wright's on McHale's Navy. And uh, Bill Carlisle. And, and this was kind of a music area right in here. And it just become uh, over and over of people stopping. And then I found out I played a little, and then they really come in. People would take their lunch break, they'd stop in and say, let's play one. And I'd play. So my daddy told me one day, he said, you're going to have to take a break. There's a new group, group, a group coming in every 30 minutes. You're picking that. I said, dog, you do. He said, you can pick. So <laughs> he, he was waiting on the store, and I was picking. And I, you remember those saying, I was picking his grin, and that's about it. And I got to work the Grand Ole Opry, which was, that's your big thing, you think. You know, when you grow up, if you get on the Grand Ole Opry, you think you've done it, I guess. Uh, before I went on, I guess before I played the Grand Ole Opry, or maybe after, I wanted to go back there and sit down and watch it. And by doing all that, and I got with all kinds of musicians, <clears throat> and I got to do a lot of stuff like uh, play for famous people like the Queen, the Prince, the Presidents, and, Got to go to Washington, and the biggest crowd I ever picked for was Washington, D.C., was for a million people. It's for the Fourth of July picnic that you see up right where the big monument is. And uh, I got to meet people I probably never would have saw if I hadn't been playing music. But I play music at a lot of places now. I do about 200 shows a year. Back in the, back in the 80s, I did uh, like 450 shows a year in the 70s and 80s, and then I got down to 350. But it don't take long to do that many shows. You gotta figure out, I did five days a week for the Cass Walker TV show. That's 20 shows a month right there. And that's what, 212 or 24, 240 shows. The side of here here has probably been one of the most exciting things that that I guess of these places, I don't, I don't know how many people that love to be here, that love to play here, that love to come back, such as Bill Carlisle. He'd come back and say, I just want to come here because it, it's just something different. It's got a different flavor. And a lot of people that has been here from New York to everywhere, they come in and they look at this place. And then Mr. Walker started taking a lot of interest in me. I use a lot of his ideas, such as the car running through the wall and the cow on the roof. This is uh, low prices, no bull, it's a cow, you know, and things that he used. That's where you meet a lot of people. It's so many people come in here. I mean, they come in here from everywhere, overseas, all foreign countries. They've heard about this place, all of it.